Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start with these two tall hurricane vases from the Dollar Tree. These are the ones that are taller than the usual ones. Um, so we'll use two of them. And then we'll also use some Excelsior grass. You can use reindeer moss, rocks, whatever filler you want to use. And these are the squishy lemons that I hauled in my video not too long ago. And I'm just going to put two per vase. And the reason that I'm turning them so much is because they do have writing on them. So I'm trying to tilt the writing so that it's not showing when you're looking at the front of the vase. Now using some jute twine, I'm just going to wrap um, a little bit around the top, not in a straight line, sort of a um, random sort of pattern. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of each vase. If this is your first time here, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe and become a part of my crafting family. And I'd like to say welcome back to my returning subscribers. It's great to see you here again. Now I'm just going to make a simple twine bow and use some hot glue to adhere it to the bottom of the vase. And then I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the next vase. And here it is, all done, super simple, really easy. The lemons on the table are from the Target Dollar Spot. And I think it just brings a nice refreshing look. These would look really great on a dining room table. And so simple and easy. A nice way to welcome in spring. Now I'll be using the same template that I used to make these bunny pillows. I will link that video in the description box below. And you'll need only one of these chopping mats from Dollar Tree and a bunny template. And I'm just going to separate it. It comes in a pack of two. I'll only need one for this project. And using the bunny template, I'm going to line it up to use as little of the chopping mat as possible. And instead of using a marker, I'm going to use a very sharp pair of scissors and pressing down really hardly. I'm just going to, did I say pressing down really hardly? <laughs> pressing down hard on the scissors. I'm going to trace the outline of the bunny. And this is going to give me a clean cut so I don't have to worry about markers or pens leaving a mark. Um, you will see that I get a really clean outline using this method. So you can see it there. I'm trying to show it to you. It's hard to see. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out and after it's cut out, I'm going to make one more using the same piece of uh, chopping mat. So now that I have two, I'm going to use a scrap piece of the chopping mat that uh, came from cutting the shapes out. And I'm going to glue it down this side of the bunny.
So now I'm going to glue the two bunnies together. While I was gluing it together, I noticed that the ears kind of uh, collapse into each other. So I take another little um, strip of the scrap chopping mat and I'm going to cut a little piece off and use the same method to hot glue it between the ears of the bunny. Now using some Waverly Acrylic Paint and Blossom, I am going to paint only one side of the bunny. This is going to be a double-sided bunny, so each side of the bunny will look completely different. This side is going to be the kind of farmhouse style. And I'm going to use Waverly Paint and Plum, also an acrylic paint. And uh, guys, if you have these wide brushes that you get from Dollar Tree, you can just cut the edges off. And now you have three brushes, two small ones and one bigger one. And I'm going to dip the edge of the foam brush in the plum paint and just go around the edges of the bunny. I did come in a little more than I initially wanted to into the pink part, but I think it still turned out okay. And then when that's done, I'm gonna set it aside to dry. And once it's dried, I'm going to use some of this nautical rope also from Dollar Tree to go around the edge of the bunny. And this is going to serve two purposes. It's going to hide the seam in between the bunnies. And then it's also going to help you not see the other side of the bunny until you flip it around. So I would, um, if you are going to replicate this, that's why I would recommend using the nautical rope instead of twine. Twine is just not going to be thick enough. So using these two florals from Dollar Tree, I'm going to give this side of the bunny a really cute little floral crown using these flowers. And already I think it's cuter with this little floral crown. So I did go ahead and make this uh, twine bow off camera and now I'm just going to glue it to the neck of this side of the bunny. 
and that's all I'll be doing to this side. Now I'm going to take this sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take this uh, part of the sign off and I'm going to use the bunny to trace out the shape and scoring it with a box cutter. I just want to open that up and I'm going to use the light from this lantern, paper lantern, also from Dollar Tree, and I only want the, want the light, so I'm going to detach it from the rest of the lantern and use it for this project. comes off just that easily, and I do want to test it before I glue it to the box, so I'm going to put some batteries in and make sure that it's working okay. And yep, it's working. So I'm gonna poke it through the bottom of the hole of the opening, just like that. And I'm going to glue it to the box going around the light with glue. Just like that, all the way around the base. And I wanna hold it down until the glue dries and I'm sure that it's secure where it is. I thought I would need two of these tumbling block pieces. Turns out I only needed one, but I did take two out just in case. And I'm gonna glue it to the bottom of the bunny to give it some more stability and also to give me uh, more of an area to hot glue the bunny down to the um, picture. I don't know why I glued it down that way instead of the way that I traced it. And in the end, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover all of that up, but um, I didn't realize I did that until I was editing the video. <laughs> it's just one of those things, I guess. So I'm going around the bottom with hot glue and I'm taking reindeer moss Spanish moss, floral moss, excelsior grass, you could use any of those things. And that is going to help me cover up the parts of the sign that were messed up with me uh, kind of taking it apart and cutting the hole open. And I am going to do that on both sides. And I'm not putting glue on the light part at all, only on the box and using more of these flowers only on this side of the bunny. I'm going to put some more of those flowers down and I'm going to use these um, eggs from the egg picks from Dollar Tree and glue those down as well. And this is what this side of the bunny looks like. How do you guys think this turned out? You can see the brush strokes, so I may have used a different method of painting it, but I still think it adds something rustic to the overall look of the bunny. And I think it's just charming. I also added one of the Dollar Tree twine carrots just to the bottom. It's not glued on, it's just placed there. And I went to Walmart and I found these gems and I'm gonna put these gems all the way around the other bunny to cover up the glue so you won't be able to see that. I use one of these large gems and this these carrots to decorate it as well. And this is what the other side of the bunny looks like. I also use some of the small foam eggs from Dollar Tree. So it's like one side is a glam bunny, the other side is a rustic bunny. There's uh, something for everyone here, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this is a picture of it at night with the light turned on. I think my favorite is seeing it in the sunlight though. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. Again, if this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've uploaded a new video. As always, I wanna thank my returning subscribers for your continued support. You guys are angels, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care everyone, bye.